Hello there, it's Fabienne from Bold Heart Business and boldheart.com. And today we're gonna to talk about how to grow your business by firing clients. <laughs> totally counterintuitive, especially when you have a career like mine, which is about helping you attract ideal clients, grow your business, get to 10K a month consistently, and then upwards from there. Why are we talking about firing clients? Well, first let's start at the beginning. When you started your business or your practice, you just wanted to work with anyone and everyone, or at least people who could pay you. <laughs> and when cash is tight, um, we often accept clients who uh, are not always ideal. Uh, people who really may not always be up to standard, who may not uh, pay our full rates, who may not uh, always be, you know, following the rules or staying within the boundaries. And in the beginning, we accept that kind of behavior uh, because we need the cash. But as your business grows and as your client base grows, you'll realize that those are the people who we call saboteur clients. Those are the people who usually pay just as much or less than all of your ideal clients, but they require more time and energy uh, and more of your personal vibration too, uh, in the sense that they're not ideal, so they, they create more havoc. It's, it, it creates uh, stagnation in your business because one, they will never send you, well, one, they may never actually get great results um, from working with you because they're not ideal. Uh, two, they will never send you great testimonials, raving fan testimonials, because they're not ideal and you're not ideal for them either. Uh, they will rarely refer you ideal clients. They will refer you other non-ideal clients, which is um, it sabotages your business and it kicks you out of what we call the vortex of uh, high vibrational energy. If you're feeling drained, if you're feeling resentful, if you're feeling used, um, it, 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 you're, it's hard to be attractive to other ideal clients at the end of the day. So as an act of self-love, yes, self-love, I beg you to consider getting rid of of all of your non-ideal clients. How do you know which are your non-ideal clients? Well, you can actually look at your client roster, your customer roster instead, and say, okay, it's easy. Is this a, a, an energizing client? Do I feel energized after working with that person? Do I look forward to working with them when I see them on my calendar? Or after working with them, do I feel drained? And when I see them on my schedule, is it like this heart sink feeling of, oh God, I can't believe I'm gonna have to talk to this person, right? That's a very clear indicator. Uh, another question you can ask yourself is on a scale of one to 10, each of those people, uh, you know, rock star client, that would be a 10 and a wrong fit. Like, absolutely. I cannot stand working with them. That's a number one. Where are they on the scale of one to 10? If it's a seven or below, they're not an ideal client. Would you want that? Would you want a full practice of that kind of client? Just would you clone them? And if the answer is no, then what you've got on your hands is a non ideal client or what we call wrong fit client. Now at Bold Heart, and I created this many, many years ago, we have a right fit client. Like, you know, it's very detailed who is a right fit. And we also have a wrong fit client. All the flags that tell us what makes, um, the what, what are the characteristics of a person who will not be happy here and who will put a drain on our resources? Yes, we are a loving company and I know yours is too, right? But there's just a bad match sometimes. We're not ideal for everybody. We're not ideal for chronic whiners and skeptics and people who make excuses and who are not going to do the work and who don't treat my team nicely and who don't treat me uh, nicely and who don't uh, treat our other members nicely. That's not somebody we want to play with and work with. We're clear on that now. And everybody on the team is trained to look at those red flags. And uh, we just, you know, again, we're very loving, but we, let, we don't let those people in. Or if we recognize that they're in, it may be time to say goodbye. So first, first and foremost, I want you to love yourself enough to get super clear on who's an ideal client and who isn't. Okay. Now, I know that not 
you know, you may not be in a place where you can get rid of all of your non-ideal clients because financially it may be tough. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to get really strategic about when would be a good time, right? Make a benchmark, you know, wait till you get another client and, and hustle uh, like crazy to do the marketing, to get another client just to replace that bad one. What it does is it gets you to... Uh, to feel confident again. You become in control of your business as opposed to your non-ideal client. Now, how do you get rid of a client? How do you fire a client? Well, it's pretty direct. I mean, I've done this several times in my career uh, when people weren't treating me uh, well or my team or other members or weren't doing the work or were just using my business to promote their business. Um, I just approached them and I said, I made it about me, okay? Because what I've realized is when you make it about them, it creates a fight. So I would say, listen, I don't, I just don't think this is working out. I don't think I'm the right coach for you. I, I don't think we're the right company for you. Let's, let's find somebody else that can serve you better. And from that place, yes, they might get angry temporarily, but when they know that you're going to help them find somebody else or another resource, uh, they, they, they know that it's not working out for them, for them either <laughs> unless they're using you. And that's a whole nother inspiration video. Um, but I'm going to invite you this week to really look at from a place of self-honoring, self-value, self-love. Are you being mistreated by anybody in your business? And if so, it's time to say goodbye. It's time to love yourself enough to say no more. And you know what the beautiful thing is? This is the business growth part. The minute that that person leaves, what it creates in the universe is a vacuum, a vacuum that the universe wants to fill with another ideal client. Whenever you're the one who says no more and you say goodbye, it leaves room for another wonderful client to step in, especially if you're clear on the right criteria and the wrong criteria for clients. And that's how you make more money and you grow your business. Your energy goes up, your team is happier, you feel more confident, you allow new people in, fresh, you know, fresh air uh, through new clients, and it helps your business grow. No more self-sabotage through wrong fit clients. It's time to do the right thing and only accept wonderful clients. That's my inspiration for you for today. Sending you so much love. Mm -hmm. Bye.